Here's a live look right now into New York City and that skyline this morning looked a lot different 20 years ago at this time. Tomorrow marks 20 years since the September 11th attacks and as we prepare to mark that somber event, many events all across the country, including right here in the Southland are planned. 9-11 united, uh, united us as Americans, and so many people tried to pitch in, try to help anybody and, and impact the way that they could. And that includes a trio of L.A. City firefighters who headed right to ground zero. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robles spoke with them ahead of tomorrow's anniversary. The World Trade Center is probably one of those events that will always be etched in your mind. L.A. City Fire Department Assistant Chief Steve Hissong, Firefighter Bubba Willis, and Captain Roddy Cordobas, Shara Bond. I'm actually the one that could possibly um, help family members find somebody. We were the fortunate ones that were able to do what millions of people wanted to do. Their response was immediate. As we rolled out the door, the family was the one that was more affected than me. Uh, they were real scared where we were going and stuff like that. <clears throat> they were members of FEMA's urban search and rescue team assigned to California Task Force One. This is what they had trained for. The deployment was their first. I don't think we were quite ready to see the devastation of what happens when those towers collapsed. There literally was such devastation, everything was dust. This September 11th will be 20 years since the attack. As we get closer, it starts to hit. People would post pictures. Have you seen my brother? Have you seen my dad? Have you seen my mom? Just stuff like that. And it was all over, uh, all surrounding the whole pile. That's when it really became real to me, uh, of the magnitude of how many people were missing, uh, the magnitude of the, the, the area that we were searching, the magnitude of how many people we're all searching at the same time. We ended up not pulling anybody out alive. As sad as it is, we know that we helped that family find closure. While there's an emotional toll related to their response, there are the physical scars as well. Firefighter Willis manages his health issues with help from a World Trade Center medical program created for first responders. One of their team members, Tom Bureau, passed away last year from what was identified as a 9-11 related cancer. They think about him and there are 11 days at ground zero off. The big thing is never forget. To look back and say how much of my life with my kids growing up, being part of this department and being able to grow uh, has been an amazing experience to look back, but I'll tell you, it does not seem like it's been 20 years. Mark Coderobles, ABC7 Eyewitness News.